I'm Laura Shiver. Welcome to Dream Chaser. Today I'm going to be your host and show you around. This is the front yard of the property where we have some ducks in their little gazebo and pond. And our pump went out in the pond, so that's why there's a plastic pool in here now. But this is where we keep some of our ducks and we've got a turtle, Franklin. This is the front yard to the house. Susan, our founder, lives in the house. We have the office downstairs and Susan lives upstairs. From upstairs, here's the mayor barn. There's the left turnout. That's the right turnout. side of the deck there's our truck with the water we have to haul water especially in the summertime even though we have two wells water is a precious accommodation around here that's our parking area this building right here is our pump house up there is the upper upper turnout those horses up there are Russian illusion they are both from the primary industry upper turnout. Water bins are over there. We've got several horses up in this turnout as well. Some of them are from the Cumberland industry. Others are not. And you can just barely see the corner of our backyard arena. The Dream Chaser got started because of the Primarin. It is a hormone replacement drug for women. It's derived from chemicals found in the urine of pregnant mares. Premarin stands for Pregnant Mares Urine, or PMU. So as soon as these mares were old enough to become pregnant, they were kept pregnant year after year. For seven months out of their pregnancy, they're kept confined in these small stalls hooked up to apparatus to collect their urine. There's barely enough room for them to stand. Then they're turned out into the pasture to have their foals. There's a stallion in the field, and during their full heat, which is nine to 11 days after delivering their foal, they are re-impregnated. Their babies are byproduct of the industry, so they get sent to slaughter, and the mares get herded back into the collection barn. When the mares no longer conceive, they will get sent to slaughter. So Susan has saved as many of these horses as she could. There have been many years where she has ransomed the pregnant mares from the feedlots and brought them to Dream Chaser for them to have their babies and live out their lives as sanctuary horses. One of Susan's goals is to save these beautiful horses, and another is to educate people about the dangers of Premarin. Also to learn about the safe and natural alternatives to Premarin, which include synthetic, plant-based, and bioidentical therapies. The mares are gentled, and if suitable, we use them in our children's programs. Their foals are raised, and after a year or so, they are also adopted out to loving forever homes. Okay, just inside the front door here, we've got some birds. Here you can kind of see the, one of our monk parakeets. Hmm. That's where we have most of our meetings, is at the kitchen table. And Susan does a lot of her work over in that corner computer. From that corner, Susan can see the entire ranch, looking out the windows to make sure that everything's going okay. As you walk in downstairs, this is kind of our volunteer area where we've got flyers and information for them to uh, fill out. We also have a water cooler for them to refill water bottles, and then our office is through. This is our downstairs office. This is where volunteers will come to work. Right now we're in the middle of a summer camp and some other projects. This 
is our gift shelf. We had a wonderful Girl Scout do her Golden Globe Award. And this was her project. She did a great job. So we do have some pictures, we have some t-shirts and coffee mugs and jewelry. As we go around one more corner, this is our summer camp room. Also, a TV for videos, a microwave, and a refrigerator. And guess what, guys? Mm. In that what? bag right there, we got ice cream. Yay! Whoa! Here we have three burrows. This is in part of the mayor area that we have when we have pregnant mayors that come in, they use this area. There's a very large stall area here. There's another one over there. There's this, the shelter, and then there is also a large turnout over there. We also have eight stalls that are covered and shaded in this area. This is our hay barn. This is our feed room. In our feed room, we have medications. Their special grains are separated into different bins and labeled. There's a list of who gets what. There's also various things to treat, you know, the horse's mane and tail, towels. There's their grooming kits and just general supplies that we might need. That is Wilbur, one of the six pot belly pigs that's on the property. Tack room has all kinds of catch ropes and saddles, halters, lead lines, basically everything you need to ride the horses. What you need for tack is in here and we use these for our children's programs such as Lean on Me and any of our events. Here's a picture from the mayor barn from the end. There's one of our regular volunteers, Pam. That is our four-wheeler. We also have a bunny cage, also in the shade. Pam is cleaning the water for Brooks. Every night the waters are cleaned and checked. These are all 16 by 16 stalls. They are all cleaned daily. <laughs> this one we have wooded it's in case we need an area. In this case, we need it for that baby goat so he can't get out. He was found wandering in the desert. And Eni is just keeping him company. She's one of our petting zoo goats. But we also use this when we have foals, you know, if we don't want them or any other horse that might need to be in an area where it can't get cast. Big Red, he was a racehorse, was on his way to be sent to slaughter in Mexico. But this is the turnout area. Hi, Red. <laughs> of the mare area that you saw from the other side. This one's empty because there isn't a horse in it tonight. The horses are moved around 
So horses that might be put in at night are let out during the day. Horses that are out during the day might be put in at night. Volunteer. This is our chicken coop. Here's inside the chicken coop. Got some roosting boxes and laying boxes. There's our one feathered rooster. another separate little area we have a little rooster in there he's in there by himself because he's rather mean but he's got plenty of room in there he's got shelter and shade and some more of the ducks out there wandering around and if you look really close there's the baby duckling down there's our pig pen. It's one of our pot belly pigs. We've got six of them here. There's our little wallowing pond. And there is their shelter. of the pigs are out and some of them are in. Here's one of the resident peacocks. I'm getting ready to go probably roost in the hay barn tonight. And through those gates is where we dump the manure. And that's a spare goat pen that we're not currently using. This is where we put the goat hay. Here's the goat pen. Here's another project that we got from some Girl Scouts. They built a goat gymnasium. There's always a goat, usually two, on top of that platform there. We use the goats in our petting zoo. A lot of them have come from being found on the side of the road or from the Humane Society or hoarding situations. It's just they've come from a variety of different circumstances. Here's our round pen that we use for exercising the horses as well as you can see for our summer camp program. This area is the left turnout. We call it the turnout with all the personality. We have a lot of our younger horses over here. Many are also from the Premarin industry. We have a round pen in the middle of this turnout. There's also some shades and feeding bins. And then we have other areas where they can be separated in their own stalls. There's also some stalls in the back there, four of them right now that are currently not being used. This is going to be the right turnout. It's Memphis back there. That's Amber making all the noise. She was a BLM Mustang. Amber's smiling for you. This is the lower barn area. We've got eight stalls there. The shade there, we also keep some hay in there. We've got PD and Essence. Also in the main turnout area, we've got some horses in the shade area. We've got some volunteer help muck this morning. So this is part of the right turnout. And at the back here, we have some more stalls and areas for the horses to go at night. And right here is the llama area, which you can't see through Regal. Regal was a primary fold that we had at the ranch. I will move over and let you see the llama area. Here's the llamas in the llama area. That's Gwen. And Emma's laying down behind her. We've got a pretty good sized area here. We keep them locked up in, the, in this area in the summertime because they foul the water.
They love their water. So they have a little pool that they get to play in in the summertime. And then we keep their drinking water outside of their pen so they can't step in it and make it nasty. As you can see, they also have two feeding bins in there. And plenty of room. In the winter time when it's not so hot and they don't feel the need to stand in the water, they are let out into the bright turnout with the rest of the horses. We have another area down here for two horses. Right now this is Promise and Journey is over there. These two were found wandering in the desert. They were starving. And they are looking much better now. This is the other side of our hay barn. And there's our tractor and some of the peacocks getting ready to roost for the night. There's another female. This is our herd in the upper turnout. So you can see we've got plenty of room up here. Some of these we'll take up to the mayor barn during the day and then turn them out at night. There's their shade. As you can see, around here there really isn't much danger of a fire. Their stalls are all dirt and all the shades and enclosures are made out of metal. Here comes Mihina. She was also baby born here. Her mother was a primer in there who was headed to slaughter. In that little arena there, we have two other horses. Here's another angle of the backyard arena. This is the upper, upper turnout. Also has a big shade. And Rush and Illusion stay. And there's Rush. She was a primer and mare. We use her in our children's programs for at-risk children. Called Lean On Me. Rush is now a spade mare and Illusion's true soulmate. Although he's 1,800 pounds of Percheron, Rush rules the roost in that turnout. We also have this little area on the corner of the property. This is a area set aside for parties or picnics. Our parking area. There's our water trailer. The stand here by the upper turnout is used to help kids get on the horses. Used in our Lean On Me program. Well, thank you for joining us today on your virtual tour of Dream Chaser. I hope we see you in person real soon.